Hey guys, Kev here, and I want to do a quick first impressions on the Hinderer Knives Half Track, Warren Cliff version. This was sent to me by a viewer. His name is uh, Jeremy, and he hates Medford. <laughs> uh, just for that, I'm going to pull a Medford out. Suck it, Jeremy. Um, his Instagram, or his YouTube and Instagram, is Freak Show EDC. Uh, but it's spelled differently. I'll link it below. So if you want to go check him out on Instagram, you can. His YouTube is actually his name, which I don't want to go saying. So, um, yeah, he let me borrow this knife as well as another one I'll be doing a first impressions on. Here is a size comparison to a Medford Slim Midi. Thank you very much, Jeremy. Uh, Jeremy does offer sharpening services if you're interested. Another reason for me to link his Instagram below. Um, let's get into this knife. What do I think? Well, I think it's a hinderer. And I think that means it's well built. And it's a tank. And uh, it's made of good materials. And it has a decent price tag. Um, and when I say decent, I mean like a decent price tag. I mean that Medford I just showed you is $645. Um, you can get hinderers for like four and a quarter starting. So I think it's a decent price for an American made product, uh, for sure. This is the half track, which is, uh, half the size of a full track, I guess. <laughs> uh, but there is a full track, which is a big version of this. And it has like a tool embedded back here to take it down, which is cool. This does not, which is, you know, kind of sucks. Um, but I'm just being an a-hole. It is a tip down carry only tip up jesus tip down kid are you kidding me um i just noticed it has a little bit of lock stick i guess sometimes but yeah does this have an insert i think all his newer ones do right that's yep definitely an insert so hey there you go i was just showing off the uh mcnees mac 2 3.5 doing the first impressions no lock bar insert guess what smoother than a baby's bottom so it, it doesn't mean that your knife is better because it has a lock bar insert. Um, that whole thing is weird to me. Like, if the knife functions and doesn't stick, great. You know, I'm good with it. All right. So, what do we got? Well, we got 20 CV steel. We got the Triway pivot system. And we have black G10 show side and titanium lock side. I don't know all their finishes. Working finish? That's what it kind of looks like to me. It's got scratches all up on it, and Jeremy doesn't care. That's for damn sure. He has sharpened this. It's his edge on it, so I don't want to even cut anything. I mean, I'm not going to cut anything here to show you how good the factory edge is, because it's not a factory edge. Um, what else? Detent. Perfect. Detent is absolutely perfect on this knife. Uh, that is the greatest thing about this knife. It has a perfect detent. I love it. Now, the action on the clothes, <laughs> not good. Um, now, it's a small knife. Um, so, you would say, it's a small knife, Kev. Like, it's probably a three-inch blade. Uh, why would it have, you know, like, good closing action, right? Well, let's argue that for a second. I just got this. This is the MBK Slayback. Perfect detent. Guess what? Drops. Ooh. Hey, look at this. MBK Easy C 1.5. This is $140 for M390 and Micarta. Nice, snappy detent, man. That thing is snappy. Come on. Are you kidding me? So, just saying. Just saying. You can have a droppy knife with a small blade here let's try the f5.5 what is that oh. oh that's weird almost glided home here's an even smaller knife let's see how much smaller is it to this i know i'm giving this guy a hard time right now but i'm just trying to prove a point look yeah that's a lot smaller right so whoops huh that's weird uh oh one last one just to rub it in emp edc nimble this guy 3.1 inch blade on that guy so i don't like that excuse is what i'm saying because i hear that a lot from people 
Well, it's a small knife, so it's a small blade, so it doesn't weigh anything. So, you know, and it's like, yeah, but you can design your pivot to work with that. And I'm guessing that's what the issue is here. There's probably quarter-inch bearings in here. I don't know what bearings the triway system uses, but I'm guessing it would be a pain in the ass to scale down your triway system, right? So then they would have to get smaller phosphor bronze washers, smaller Teflon washers. All of that would have to fit in here um, as opposed to just using the same thing they use on all their knives, right? But on a smaller knife with a smaller, lighter blade, you do need smaller bearings to get that good action. So um, my guess is they just use their normal size quarter inch or whatever it is. It could be something else. And I could be completely wrong. It could just be they have a super tight pivot on this design or whatever. I mean, there's no play or anything. It's just I've never seen one of these with good action on the clothes. And I've had plenty of people tell me they have one. They like it or they don't, and it uh, does not have a drop shed action. But anyway, I digress. Uh, dead nuts centered. Uh, I do like the look of it. Um, closed, open. It's got that kind of Koenig Goblin thingamajig going on with the upswept Warren Cliff that I, I usually don't like, right? It's kind of hard for me because I go back and forth. I think in the unboxing I was talking about how I do like it. Um, there are times where I like it, you know, but the time I don't is it's a worn cliff and I want to get down into things and it's trying to get that tip up and I don't want that. I want it down. Um, so that's where I get frustrated, but you can kind of pinch grip it and do what you will. Um, I don't know. It, I, again, I go back and forth. I can't even remember what I said, why I liked it in the unboxing, because now I'm messing around with it and I don't like it. I would like it to be a straight worn cliff, right? Um, trying to think of the reasoning for it to be up like that, right? Um, but yeah, so anyway, um, yeah, those are kind of my thoughts. Uh, ergonomics, well, if I hold it back here, it's uh, all three fingers fit here and the fourth one kind of gets on this flat, which I really like when companies do that or designers do that and then you have a choil which is super comfortable this knife is super comfortable uh, i really really like this uh the ergo is on such a small knife right that is something that is hard to nail uh, like that rib i showed you um uh, it's probably as comfortable as that rib or that f5.5 it is up there guys they nailed it with the with the swells and the and the choils so uh yeah yeah, it's a cool little knife. I totally get it. If you're not a guy who cares about closing action and you want to have a small backup knife to just be like a exacto knife for cardboard and stuff, utility knife, perfect, right? Uh, so yeah, that's the uh, half track here from Hinderer. Uh, appreciate Jeremy for sending it to me. And uh, I love you guys. Appreciate you listening to me rant and rave as usual. And uh, I hope you have a fantastic day. I will catch you later.